What is going on everyone and welcome back to Too Much Tech and in today's video we're going to be reviewing the Makalu 67, a brand new lightweight mouse from Mountain. Huge shout out to them actually for sending out this mouse a little early for review. I've been using it for about the past three weeks. Obviously today we're going to be giving you guys my thoughts on the mouse. And this is actually one of the new mice with the, actually the first mouse to be using the Pixar. 3370 sensor and it's got like a few notable improvements and whatnot too like this thing can have a lift off distance of less than like two dvds half a percent error rate and up to a 19,000 dpi which is absolutely insane but anyways for us normal people that play on 400 800 1200 dpi you're covered you're covered the sensor is super good and honestly speaking the sensors are getting so good nowadays i cannot really tell the difference between 3360 a 3370 a 3389 like they're all just really really good so i just find it unique you know that this one has that sensor the performance is just as good as anything else that you would use but first let's go ahead and talk about this shape of the mouse because this is something that's pretty unique as well like this is for sure 110 percent an ergo mouse but one is very light and extremely balanced you have these two round skates here that glide extremely smooth and in the box they even give you an extra set we'll talk about the unboxing experience in a bit because that was pretty cool too. I can't really put my finger on what this mouse feels like. Like it's very unique. Like on the side, everything just kind of curves up very nicely right here. Super duper easy to hold. And it just feels great, nice and comfortable. And then on this side, you have a really nice groove over here to perfectly rest your thumb. And these side buttons are the perfect size with an absolute perfect placement. Like it's just really, really comfortable to hold, even though I'm not the biggest fan of Ergo mice because I find them to be just a little bit too big. And I feel like I can't really get like the right claw grip on it. They're not for claw, they're really more for palm. But if Ergo mice are kind of hard to play with for me. This one, I felt like it was relatively easy to play with and I wasn't really playing too different from when I'm using something you know, of another shape that I like, like a Burst Pro or XM1 or whatever. This is a really good shape and very, very comfortable. If you do like a lot of work from home or whatever, and you're looking for something that's gonna be very good for doing gaming and productivity, this shape is absolutely perfect for that. They do have this RGB ring at the top and in between this RGB ring, you see these four dots. Basically, when you change your DPI, your first DPI setting is invisible. Then you got four additional lights that pop on depending on what DPI you set. And you can all adjust these through the software as well. You can change it, you know, increments of about 50 to get your exact DPI that you need. But I just thought that was pretty cool how they had these indicators here for the DPI. And I just think that's a really nice addition too. It's pretty unique. It's not something that you see on every mouse. In terms of the build quality, this thing is built rock solid and the switches are Omron 50 mil switches. They sound just a little bit crispier, but they're also not like super sharp either. And I think they sound really nice. Personally, I like them quite a bit. Another thing that I'm impressed with is this paracord. Like this paracord is, I would say, nearly XM1 level. And as, as we know, if you guys have seen my XM1 review before and my other reviews where I've talked about it, that one has one of the best stock paracords. This is up there with it. I would say is maybe just a little bit not as good because you know once you get to about right here, it does become a little bit stiff. And I think that may be because you know this part right here, the stress relief is a little bit longer, but honestly, it's not the end of the world. You put this thing in a mouse bungee and it feels wireless. There's really no need to put like an aftermarket paracord on this one unless you just really have to have the absolute softest cable. It's definitely like an A minus paracord. Could it be softer, more flexible? Of course, but it is good enough to where I don't feel the need to switch it. And the weave of the paracord does feel very premium as well. So that's pretty nice. I also like how Mountain, they're really good with their branding. They have a little bit of subtle branding right there on the, uh, the cable tie, as well as on the mouse too. 
like very minimal, but just super duper clean. And speaking of branding, let's go ahead and look at the unboxing experience because I was really impressed, you know, when I got this thing in the mail, pulled out of the box, like this is just really, really cool. So you got the mountain logo right here on the bottom of the box. Obviously, you know, the specs and everything on the back and then a couple magnets at the bottom to get it open and your mouse is resting right here. You got some extra mouse feet in here and then you got some stickers and a quick start guide. So that's pretty cool. I thought the unboxing experience of this mouse being the first mountain product that I ever got was actually really good. So right now we are in the mountain base camp software. Basically we can click on this to customize the Macaulay 67 software experience. So here we have polling rate that we can set up to a thousand, our five different DPI settings. Then we have our sensitivity if you, you know, mess with that for whatever reason, but I don't because to me this makes your mouse feel kind of weird. The click speed, you can obviously, you know, set your click speed to slow, fast, whatever. I'm just going to leave it normal because I haven't had any issues with it at all. The button response time as low as two milliseconds and as high as 12 if you're a madman. Angle snapping, obviously off. The lift off distance, obviously set to low because I haven't had any issues with the 3370. So we're just going to leave that alone as well. Different lighting effects here key binding here if you want to swap out the keys i usually remap my dpi button to like the media keys for like play and pause but this time i did it because i like the little dots that have you know when you change the dpi even though i never really leave from a thousand but i just thought it was a nice addition macros if you want to set macros and you can save a few different profiles as well up to five last thing i want to do for you guys is just show you a quick size comparison with some other mice that i have as well so you guys can see how big the mikado 67 is in reference to the other mice so we got this logitech g pro just as the regular g pro wired and we can see that this is significantly shorter but it's very similar in width to the Macaulay 67 but the Macaulay does stick out a little bit more at the front left side than the G Pro does but obviously in the back the mouse flares out quite a bit but the hump for both mice is still in the middle this is more of an x shape obviously but this is you know obviously a smaller mouse and this mouse is pretty massive now when we take the model o and put it next to the Macaulay 67 it's actually very similar in size so this is a pretty normal size mouse it's just a lot taller of course in the back with it having that ergo shape and then the model d minus for reference because i don't have my regular model d anymore this is just another you know this is a smaller ergo mouse with a similar weight and basically you know this is just a much bigger mouse at a similar weight we didn't weigh this mouse yet and i haven't weighed it actually while i've been using it the entire time so let's go ahead and do that real quick so we got 68 and a half grams for the official rating on my scale blah 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 it's a light mouse basically if you're looking at the model d or something with a very similar shape personally this works a little bit better for me because i really feel like this right side is a bit more comfortable than it is on the model d even the model d minus i feel like when it bows in a little bit right here it just doesn't bow in enough where this feels like toward the top it just feels right i don't know what it is but i think it's just you know the angle that it comes in is just very comfortable for my fingers to rest since even though it's a bigger mouse i still kind of grab it with a little bit of a claw grip so maybe if you need like a little bit of a palm and a bit of a claw this could really work out for you but one thing that i do wish that the mikado 67 had i wish that the hump was a little bit closer toward the back so it would get a little bit more palm support where the hump in the middle doesn't really do me a ton of good unless I'm just like editing or something and I just have my hand like resting on the mouse. But in gameplay, my hand is sticking up a little bit more and my two fingers on the right side are gripping the mouse a little bit harder, which isn't an issue. That's just how I play naturally. So I would prefer to have a little bit more grip in the back. Otherwise, like I said, I would rather pick this over like a Model D or Model D minus or something like that. Um, but this versus something like a G Wolf Skull Mini, that's a little bit of a tougher decision because the Skull Mini is smaller, obviously. So it's a little bit of a different category. It's a small ergo mouse. But I mean, a Mukalu 53 Mini, that might be an interesting idea. I mean, to have a solid mouse with this good build quality, this nice little feature right here with the DP, I just think that that's a neat party trick or whatever. But I think it looks good. Mount has really clean design. Their packaging is A1 and the user experience is very good. Their software is top tier. I mean, I really don't have really much bad to say about this mouse. The mouse skates themselves are very close, in my opinion, to like glorious quality mouse skates. So these 
could use a little bit of an upgrade. You can upgrade these to Tiger Arc 2s or something like that. I'll leave Lethal Gaming Gear in the description below if you want to get some Tiger Arc 2s. Hopefully they will have them for this mouse. Probably the only two areas I could say of improvement is make a smaller version, which isn't really an improvement, it's just a request, and then maybe upgrade the mouse feed a little bit. And that's pretty much it. It's a very decent mouse. Nothing really bad to say about it. The shape I prefer over a few other ergo mice. And this is definitely not a bad buy for 60 bucks because this thing is only 60 bucks. Not bad. Hope it's on Amazon soon. As soon as it is, I'll leave a link in the description for you guys to check it out. But that's going to be it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. Be sure to check out Mountain as well. I will have their link in the description below. The Makalo 67 is really nice and I highly recommend you check it out if you're in the market for a new Ergo mouse. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram where I've been trying to be a little bit more active on social media and it's working out pretty well. You guys seem to be enjoying the new content out there as well. And uh, yeah, join my Discord. That's all for this video. I will catch you guys in the next video.